Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov. I'm the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. Today is Monday and uh, it's rainy outside as always in Atlanta. And today I decided to show to you how you can paint um, a very beautiful and bright butterfly, a butterfly just to bring our mood slightly up in Adobe Photoshop. And we will be using um, one of my favorite features in Adobe Photoshop we will be using symmetry painting. It's very easy. Uh, as always, I'm trying to show to you the easiest way of creating something. Um, uh, even if we talk about digital painting or photo restoration or photo retouching or photography, I'm trying to show to you the easiest way of creating. So guys, uh, let's start. First of all, let me switch to my desktop camera just like this. As you can see, I have opened Adobe Photoshop and for now I have and I have created um, the simple uh, document. You can create your document in any size you like. And of course, guys, you can use any color for your background. For now, I'm using a white color for my background and now I have only one a layer. Let me show it to you. Now I have only one layer, background layer. Now I will create a new empty layer. You know me guys, I love, love, love layers. Layers makes my life easier. And I will switch to um, um, brush tool. Of course guys, you can use any brush you are more comfortable with. It's up to you. So I have activated, I have highlighted my um, brush tool and as you can see in the options bar, I have, let me show to you in a better way. In the options bar, I have this beautiful butterfly uh, icon. Yes, guys, a butterfly icon. Um, this um, icon represents uh, symmetry painting. Yes, I can uh, make logo for, for sure. <laughs> it's my job, but not in today's tutorial. But uh, next week, definitely, I will show to you how you can create a logo from start to finish in Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. Just let me know what application you prefer. So this is an icon, a butterfly icon represents um, symmetry painting in Photoshop. I will click on this icon and voila, look at this. We have so many beautiful options, symmetry uh, painting options. You can use any uh, you like. Today we will use vertical, but again, next week I will show to you mandala. Um, symmetry painting, we will create very uh, complex and very um, um, detailed and mandala from start to finish in Photoshop. So today I will click on vertical just like that and voila. Uh, Photoshop creates a, a vertical symmetry for you. Uh, if you like, you can uh, resize it. It's completely not unnecessary, but and I will click OK in the options bar to apply to confirm uh, my uh, transformation. And as I said, I, I will be working my first layer, um, will, my first sketch will be on separate a layer. Uh, let's rename this layer. Guys, to rename any layer in layers panel, double click on layer name and that's it. I will name to my sketch just like that and voila. If you like, guys, also you can apply uh, color, um, color to a colored label to your layers. I love um, uh, colored labels because I'm a visual artist. Uh, all colors make my life much, much easier. So how you can apply it? Light, right click on your layer panel. And here, guys, you can see colors you can apply just like this. I will apply, um, let's see, red color to my sketch layer because I will know this is my sketch layer and this is not a final layer and I definitely will need to delete this layer later on. And because of that, I applied a red color. So it's visually screaming. It's red color. Pay double attention. So now 
Uh, let's talk about brushes. I will start with um, a pencil a brush. And as I told many, many times uh, during our streams, I have uh, created separate library with uh, my favorite brushes in Photoshop. Why? Um, why I create a separate a library with my uh, favorite Photoshop brushes if I can organize my brushes in a brushes panel? It's simple, guys, because I would like to use uh, my favorite brushes, uh, my favorite Photoshop brushes in Adobe uh, Fresco. I created this separate uh, library. So now I can open this library in Adobe Fresco and I will be able to use all my favorite Photoshop brushes in Adobe Fresco. By the way, Adobe Fresco is Adobe uh, mobile painting application. By the way, very awesome application. So I will click on HB uh, pencil just like that and I will change color for my brush. I will use a blue color. Guys, you can use any color for your sketch. Why blue? Particularly, uh, particularly blue today because as I said, um, today we will be using very bright colors to bring our mood up. So, and of course guys, you can use hi, hi, hi. Of course, guys, you can use um, your imagination to create your uh, butterfly or you can use any reference image. Today I'm using reference image uh, located um, in my another monitor. So this is my um, document with symmetry uh, painting uh, feature. Now I will start creating my butterfly just like that. Pay attention to my document, guys. I'm using only one side of my document. Look at this. And Photoshop creates everything to another side. Basically, Photoshop mirrors everything to another side of my document. Look at this. How easy is it now? Because uh, particular this uh, butterfly is very uh, symmetrical. Symmetry painting works absolutely amazing in this uh, particular <laughs> example. So now start working on our butterflies' uh, wings, guys. You can use uh, you can create your uh, butterfly in any style you like. You can use any shape. It's your imagination. It's your art just uh, create something um uh very unique uh create art repre which represents your soul and your vision this is the most important uh, rule and again guys you can use your imagination or you can create uh, you can use um any image as your uh, reference image this is a first part of our butterfly wing and now I will start working on another side. And again guys, use your imagination, create something very unique. And by, by the way guys, when you're working on a um, sketch or um, any other uh, brush stroke, I will recommend you to apply short brush, uh, uh, short brush uh, strokes and release your hand short brush stroke and release your hand why if you will ask me why um we are using photoshop we can undo anything or we can fix anything in photoshop definitely we we'll, we can but why um why um we need to make our uh workflow more compli complicated if we can make something easier let's do it so this is my basic sketch now i will create a new empty layer just like that uh i created extra layer so this is my uh, new layer i will switch to my um brushes panel and here guys as you know i have a lot of watercolor brushes i downloaded from adobe website and i downloaded these brushes for free how because i'm creative cloud subscriber all these brushes uh, are for uh, free for me. These brushes are free for you as well if you are Creative Cloud subscriber. Just go to Adobe website and download these amazing, amazing brushes. So I have my uh, watercolor uh, brush set I downloaded from uh, Adobe website and of course I have um, my favorite brushes. So I created my um, favorite um, 
brushes uh, folder and I created a few subfolders with my secondary favorite brushes. I will switch to uh, example this um, brush I would like to use. Uh, I will switch to another color. Again, guys, you can use any color you like. I will be using very bright colors today. Also, guys, do not forget um, switch between uh, smaller and largest uh, sizes of your uh, brushes. Uh, you don't have to stack with one size of your brush. Also, you don't have to stack with one type of uh, any brush. You can switch between different brushes at any time. So this is my uh, first uh, brush I will be using today, just like this. When I will be... Uh, coming uh, very close to um, edges of my sketch. I will bring size of my brush down just like that. And I will apply more delicate uh, brush strokes just like this. Now, if I would like, and I do, I will switch to another watercolor brush. I will switch color of my brush to yellow. I will create a new empty layer. Yes, guys, I love, love, love layers. And using this brush, I will add a few splashes of yellow color, just like that. And again, guys, I will bring size of my brush down for now. And I will continue applying a few brush strokes because I was um, applying, applying yellow color uh, using separate uh, layer. I can bring down opacity of my layer just like that. Now, I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to another watercolor brush. Let's see, maybe um, this watercolor brush. And I will switch color of my brush to a bright uh, green color. I will bring size of my brush down just like that. And I will add a few splashes of a uh, green uh, color. And again, guys, example, if you don't like a brush you uh, picked, just um, switch to any other brush. Let's switch to maybe this one. And yes, I like this brush uh, more. So I will delete this layer. I will create a new empty layer and I will apply a few splashes of green color using uh, this uh, brush, just like this. And guys, did you notice, I know I'm asking a lot, did you notice, but just in case, that Photoshop mirrors everything to another side of my document, so I don't have to paint uh, uh, to another side of my document. This is the beauty of uh, symmetry painting. Now, I will create new empty layer. I will switch back to my first color. I will increase size of my brush and I apply. I will apply a few splashes of this blue color just to smooth uh, out all of my um, colors. Just to bring all my colors uh, in harmony. Just like that. Now, what I will do, guys. Now, I just want to show to you a symmetry painting feature. I will hide my sketch layer. I will hide my background layer, just like that. I will highlight my um, any uh, colored layer and I will merge visible layers, just like that. Now I will bring sketch layer back, visibility of my sketch layer and background layers back. Uh, I will switch to um, Eraser tool and I will erase a few not per perfect uh, splashes of colors I applied outside of uh, my uh, sketch. And again, I don't have to uh, touch anything to opposite side of my uh, active uh, side of my document, just like that. I'm working only on one side of my document, just like this. Now, I will create a new empty layer. I will switch back to watercolor brush. Again, I can switch to any uh, brush at any time. I will use a bright uh, green color and I will add a few splashes of green color, just like that. 
I will bring size of my brush down and just like that. If you prefer to work uh, using only one layer, no problem. Example, I will switch color of my brush to uh, yellow. I will increase size of my brush just like that and a look at this. I'm using only one layer and again Photoshop does a great job. Photoshop blends all colors for me. And again, if I paint it outside of my sketch a layer, uh, I will uh, switch to um, eraser tool and I will erase any uh, unwanted uh, brush strokes outside of my uh, sketch a layer, just like this. If you would like to preview your um, painting without sketch layer, simply hide uh, your uh, layer, the sketch layer, just like this. Now, guys, I'm happy with my uh, butterfly um, wings for now. I will create a new empty layer on top of my um, sketch layer. I will highlight my sketch layer. I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to darker uh, shade of blue color, just like that. I will switch to um, uh, another watercolor um, brush, just like that. I will bring size of my brush down and I will uh, start working on butterflies body just like this. And again, guys, I'm working only on one side of my document, just like this. And again, guys, don't forget about pressure sensitivity. Uh, I hope you are working with any tablet and any tablet has a pen and pen has a pressure sensitivity. Pressure sensitivity is your friend. Never forget about pressure sensitivity. Pressure sensitivity makes your painting um, life much, much, much easier. Now, let me hide my uh, sketch layer just like that. And I will add a few extra details to my uh, butterfly body, just like this. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few details, just like this. Now, I will not make uh, my sketch layer visible for now. Maybe I will delete it right now. A little bit later, I have no idea. But for now, I will hide this layer. And I will create a new empty layer on top of my all layers, just like that. I will switch to another watercolor brush. Let's see what watercolor brush I will use. You can use again any watercolor brush. And I will switch to a um, darker shade of blue color I used uh, from the beginning, just like that. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few splashes of um, blue color. Just like that. And as you notice, guys, I'm applying short brush strokes and I'm, I re, I'm releasing my hand. Short brush stroke, release your hand. And about, before I will forget, about a brush angle. Guys, you can change a brush angle uh, like we did before from brush setting panel, just from here. Or, or. Now you can go, you, you can change um, your brush angle directly from uh, uh, option bar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I will show to you how. Just like that. Do you see this kind of um, angle icon? You can move or you can enter a value manually. It's up to you. How simple is it? So you can change angle of your brush directly from the uh, option bar. Just like that. Short brush stroke and I'm uh, releasing my hand. Bro, uh, short brush stroke and I'm releasing my hand. I will switch back to green color and I will add a few splashes of green a color, just like that. And again, guys, it's up to you. You can use green color, you can use yellow color. Everything is up to you. 
I will use bright yellow color. Look at this. How beautiful is it? Now, guys, I will switch to another watercolor brush. Um, we have a lot, a lot, a lot watercolor brushes. I love watercolor brushes. Uh, using watercolor brush, by the way, same watercolor brush, you can uh, create each time completely different result, completely different um, a painting, completely unique painting. So let me see. Uh, uh, I will switch to um, a kind of... Um, uh, splash a spatter a brush because I would like to add a few splashes of different colors to my butterfly first of all I will bring size of my brush down I will create a new layer and I'm still using bright yellow colors color and I will add a few splashes of this yellow color to a uh, bottom wing. Now I will switch to blue color. I will create a new empty layer and I will add a few splashes of blue color to uh, my uh, butterfly, just like this. Guys, can you add more details? Can you add more uh, colors? Of course, guys, everything is up to you. It's your creation, it's your art. What I will do, I will create a new empty layer. I will switch to another watercolor brush again, guys. You can use any brush you like. Um, I will switch to watercolor, another watercolor brush. I will use a green color, same color I used uh, before. Maybe a little bit darker, just like that. In the options bar, I will specify opacity of my brush 100% and flow 100% as well. I will bring size of my brush down and again guys I'm on separate layer and I will add a few splashes of a green color just like that and again do not forget about pressure sensitivity um, don't forget uh, uh, to increase or decrease the size of your brush at any time just like this now I will switch back to blue color, bright a blue color. I will create a new empty layer and I will add a few splashes of blue color around here, just like that. How beautiful is it and how easy is it? Now, uh, I can, uh, I will highlight my uh, sketch layer. I will create a new empty layer on top of my sketch layer. Basically, this layer is under my all colored layers. I will uh, use my favorite background watercolor brush and I will use a um, lighter shade of blue color, just like that. I will increase size of my brush and a look at this. I will create a very beautiful and springy uh, sky. If I will create new empty layer, I will switch to white color. I will bring size of my brush down. I can create beautiful clouds just like this. Now, guys, uh, let's talk more about uh, symmetry painting. If you would like to switch between different uh, symmetry um, type of symmetry painting, how you can do this? You can you can switch between different types of uh, symmetry painting at any time. Simply click on um, a butterfly icon. An example: click on horizon um, symmetry painting um, type, and voila, Photoshop will create a horizon um, uh, axis for you. Uh, you can switch during your painting to any uh, type of symmetry painting at any time. And uh, you will not lose any of your uh, layer layers. You will not um, damage your painting. So guys, use your imagination, create something beautiful and um, just don't stress uh, about uh, how difficult is a symmetry painting in Photoshop. It's not difficult. It's actually super easy. How you can... Um, uh, disable symmetry painting. Simple. Click on um, symmetry painting icon just like that and click on symmetry 
off just like that and voila you don't have symmetry painting anymore if i will create a new empty layer on top of my old layers i will create a new uh, layer just like that and i will use let's see black color just to show to you and i will start working on um right side of my document as you can see photoshop uh does nothing photoshop not a mirroring anything to another side of my document why because i turned off symmetry painting feature just like this and this is uh, our uh, symmetry painting um symmetry painting available for let me show for a brush tool pencil tool and eraser tool so it's um, more than enough uh, tools to create something very beautiful uh, using symmetry uh, painting feature in photoshop so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today oh before i will forget let me switch back to my um desktop if you would like to um if you would like to download uh, my original butterfly sketch, go to my uh, patreon.com uh, slash Victoria Pavlov and I will download this sketch just in a few minutes after I will uh, end this live stream. So go to my uh, patreon.com Victoria Pavlov and you will be able to download um, um, this sketch. Uh, open the sketch in Photoshop, create a symmetry painting and you will be able to use this sketch as your um sketch layer uh it's free don't think uh it's uh, you need to pay some anything because uh i'm uh, sending you to my patreon um page no it's absolutely free so go download and use but i would like to ask you don't forget to um create something very beautiful the uh, upload uh, your um creation on twitter and tag me in your uh, creations i would love to see what you uh, what you uh, have created after this uh, live stream and again guys as always yes uh if you um have any questions just ask let me show to you link to all uh, brushes let me uh populate my um brush uh, panel if you will click on this uh, accordion menu uh, just like that you will click on uh, get more brushes when you will click on get more brushes you will be redirected to adobe website where you will be able to download all uh, brushes for a uh, free if you are creative cloud subscriber let me copy this link uh, of course guys you will need to um, uh, log into your creative cloud account let me paste it just show to you it's long i don't know if it uh, it will help you but easiest way uh e the easiest way if you will open your uh brushes uh panel click on top uh right icon um click on get more brushes and you will be redirected to adobe website uh, log into your creative cloud account and voila you will be able to download all these amazing uh, brushes Also, yes, um, uh, Catherine, I will upload this link to the brushes uh, on my uh, Patreon. Yes, I will do this as well. And also I will download links under my uh, YouTube um, video. So guys, thank you so much again. Super appreciated of all your support. I cannot say thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I hope you are um, uh, washing your hands and staying home um, just to prevent um, coronavirus uh, spread. 
spreading around the world. And um, again, if you're at home and you have nothing to do, you're bored on or stressed, just let me know how can I help you. Um, I will stream about something specific. Uh, example, if you would like to see something in Photoshop, Illustrator or Adobe, Adobe uh, other application, just let me know and I will help you to go through this difficult time. We are all together. So guys, we all together in this difficult situation. Let me know how can I help you. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed uh, this stream and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow we will talk about uh, um, black and white photography. I will show to you my favorite three ways of converting your um, colored uh, image into black and white. And we will do it in Adobe Photoshop. And my stream will start as always um, at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So guys, thank you so much and I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye.